Hey traders, Corey Mitchell here with VantagePointTrading.com. I wrote an article some time ago, but just recently reposted it on the site because a lot of people still use MetaTrader 4. So it's MetaTrader 4 trading and analysis made easier, some tips and tricks you can use. And one of the questions I received was on this section here, adding one indicator to another. So I wanted to go over a few examples of how you can add one indicator to another, such as you throw an RSI on your chart and you wanted to add a moving average to it or something like that or any other combination of indicators, how would you do that? So first you can go to insert and you can add an indicator from here, insert indicators and go through the list here. Another alternative is you can hit control N or just this button here which says navigator and you'll be able to see they might be closed up but you can open up your indicators and let's say you wanted to add an RSI pretty popular indicator just add it it'll show up there and of course if you want to edit its properties you can just right click edit properties and change whatever you want to about the indicator and then if you wanted to add a moving average to it you drag it onto the chart this window is going to pop up click on the parameters tab if it's not already open and we're going to apply to and scroll down to first indicators data click OK and then if you wanted to change something later on you decide I want a 30 period moving average then you can just right click on the moving average it'll say MA30 properties and you can change it again and you can do the same thing right click on the RSI and change anything about it so that's how you add a second indicator so the important point is when that window pops up parameters select first indicators data now if you have two we should talk about if you have two indicators on your chart let's say you also had an average true range and you wanted to apply some other indicator to it so you could do the same process with a moving average let's do some a bit different let's throw a Bollinger Band on the ATR so again we're gonna get this parameters click on the parameters again and this time our first indicator remember we selected first indicators data so now we have a second indicator while the language is a bit weird we're gonna select previous indicators data select OK and you can see it applies the Bollinger Bands to the ATR so that is a simple process again if you want to alter the settings on any of those just right click right on the indicator you can select bands properties change anything that you wanted or if you wanted to change the ATR just move your cursor over the ATR ATR properties and you can change anything you want there we get a much different look so that is how you add one indicator to another or what I like to call compounding indicators can be quite useful in getting a slightly different perspective on your indicators or if you're using indicators uh, for trading signals adding another indicator to it can help you highlight those trade signals or even generate trade signals so I hope that helps you out happy trading